All right, so Nickel Brook does two non-alcoholic beverages, a ginger beer I've never had before, and a root beer. Um, it was like last year I tried out the root beer at a, at a rib fest. They had it uh, set up, served away from the beers. They poured it like a beer off the tab at like a bar type thing. You got it in a plastic little Nickel Brook cup. <laughs> and when it's really cold, it just smells and tastes like typical root beer by a lot of other companies out there. But taking my time with it while I'm eating the ribs and stuff, it's warming up, the flavors are popping up, and without knowing what was in it, I could really taste a lot of li licorice. So I thought Starm has was in it. They call these ones their Babbling Brooks, root beer. <coughs> Babbling Brooks root beer is brewed using a time honored traditional recipe of all natural pure ingredients. Nickelbrook Brewery has a stellar reputation for its great beers, and we use this expertise to create our exceptional root beer. Nick, Nick and Brooke, pictured in the barrel, were our cons, consultants, and their righteous attention to great taste aided us in producing this wonderful beverage. Ingredients, filtered water, brown cane sugar, demerol sugar, cinnamon bark, star anise, licorice root, sassafras root, burdock root, vanilla extract, and orange peel. 150 calories, 41 milligrams, 5% sodium, 36 grams, 6% carbohydrates, and 38 grams of sugar. And when I cracked it on the table a distance from me, and I could already smell the starness and licorice part, because for me the smells that stand out the most is the starness and licorice, because they both give off a strong licorice um, smell, and then the rest of it just smells like typical root beer. So when they call this root beer, they're correct with the root part. A lot of things in here by the root. And when you drink it, that typical root taste is there. And of all the ingredients, I'm going to say the star nest slash licorice root really stand out because it's like a because it tastes kind of dark licorice taste with the root beer taste. And then in the aftertaste, there's little bits that seem kind of like more rooty and barky. But for the most part, it's kind of like having like a licorice root beer. It's decent. It's all natural and old fashioned and craft style. But when you drink it, you don't want to drink it extremely warm and you do not want to drink it extremely cold. You want a bit of both so you can taste those flavors and not think of it as like a lot of the other root beers out there. And I've never had it alcoholic before, but in my glass, I put in a little bit of Jameson, Irish whiskey in it. And then because of like the star and as and stuff in it, you know, I had some uh, absinthe. That I like bought like five years ago, so I, around like five years ago, so like five year old, the liquid I still have in that bottle. And because of like the star and acid and licorice and stuff, I added some of that to it too. So I'm going to take a pipe rip with it and then sign out. So the aftertaste might seem a little barky, a little rooty, maybe a hint of cinnamon. <coughs> <coughs> but basically what stands out the most prominent in it is that typical root beer taste with, like I said, the licorice and root and the star and as combining their licorice taste together. And it's like a dark, black licorice root beer.